In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers question where we focus on how we can create a chart with a drop down or select option where we can change the different type of charts consistently based on the selection. But we still have just the same data as you can see here. It's always the same data, but just differently presented. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers question, which is how to change the chart type with a drop down down list in chart.js and this question came from one of my videos about uh, how to update a donor chart dynamically with input fields which is a phenomenal video however this one was a older version which is based on 2.9 as right now we are in uh, chart.js 3.6 to be exact so if we scroll down here this question came from Ange Angela Lima so a special thank you to Angela for asking the question and this is what Angela asked. Is there a way to change the charts by drop down list into, for example, the bar, line, radar, etc., etc.? If possible, can you please make a video? Yes, it is possible, and let me show you exactly how. So, to do this, what we need to have first is a default code. So, let's put in here a default code. Just go to chartgestree.com getting started. For some reason, I'm getting this error here on my computer but uh, apparently it, it works fine on my other computer why I don't know however it is completely safe and then basically what we need here is this chunk of code here copy this chunk of code and if you want to understand what this code does or specifically the JavaScript make sure you watch this video here that explains it all so what we're going to do here we're going to just paste this in here and once we paste this in here I'm going to just move the title in there save this refresh this all right but now we have a bar chart and eventually what we want to do is we want to have a drop down and that drop down converts the chart into any other type of chart we want so let's get uh if i'm not mistaken the example was bar radar so let's say bar radar pi and line chart so we have four options how would we do this all right so to do this first of all we must have a function working with a button and that button is basically a very straightforward drop down button. So that's what we're going to do in here. So what we're going to say here is select. And this select will have eventually a uh, function which is on change. So it will be triggered on change, meaning that when we change the value on our select, eventually a function will be triggered. And this function we will call it char uh, change chart. And we will grab the value which means this. That's the specific value we grab. And this here will eventually refer to the options. So let's put in here, select closing tag. And then what we're going to put in here, we can do here maybe up. If you want up group to make it more fancy, label equals uh, select chart. And then in here, we're going to say your option. Basically in here, let's call this our bar chart. And we say here, um, this would be the value and this here will refer directly to the selected value but not only the value but the entire select item however later on i'm going to show you how we're going to filter out specifically only the value itself that is the bar here let's copy here uh, at least uh, three more or four uh, how many we had we had a pi all right we have pi let's make this this needs to be small letters, that's very important. Pi, line, line, and we have more here, radar, and we have here radar. And if we want a pine line bar, and then we can do here, I guess four would be more than enough. We could do the uh, polar area, it doesn't matter, it's very similar. So now we have this here. So we, if we save this, you will see that we have this button here, but of course it does nothing here. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to create a function with this specific name, the chart, or change chart. And then we're going to extract the value which we use here, the argument of this. So let's go down here. I'm going to make a function. And in this function, we call this function change chart. Here, this will be eventually the parameter. So the parameter is this argument that will be here, but this argument goes in here. But I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say here. Uh, chart type. This is the chart 
type uh, parameter, so the chart type, and then what we will say here, uh, console.log, I'm going to grab here the chart type. I'm going to show you that this eventually, let's copy another one, I want to copy two because we will need the specific values. So you will see the difference here between the two. One will grab everything and the other one will grab only the value that we have selected. And that's what we eventually want. This is the one we want. I want to show you these two differences so you have an understanding what we did or what the value of this means. So if I select this and click here pi, so what is going on here? It will show me everything here. This is the this value without filtering the value. That's basically this here, which is this unfiltered. And then we have the value, which would be the selected value. So when we select this value, you can see here, it starts to see exactly what we need. The line, that's the one we need. All right, so now you have this, so you have understanding of this. So if I select now here, you will see this is it. So you might say, all right, so probably the most easiest way to do it is now is just to create here the update and you change this specific type here. The, uh, the, the config type equals whatever we selected here, but that's not the case. And the reason why we cannot use that, it will change, but it will change undesirable because it will have the scale. And if you are familiar with the pie chart, you don't have a scale. So we're going to do something else here. So what we're going to do here is we need to destroy the chart because we need to re-render the chart. This is the rendering block here. So this is basically the answer we need. And we need to solve this later on because this must become let. I'm going to explain later on why. You will see exactly why. So what we're going to do now is um, let's uh, destroy the chart. We need to destroy the chart so the chart will be completely destroyed and re-render with the new item because if we will change this into pi, it will not work nicely. So what we're going to do here is we will say here my chart dot destroy. So when we do this, you will see now the chart will be gone. All right. So this is correct. It destroys the chart, so it must destroy it. And then at that very moment, we can now start to re-render it. How do we re-render it? Well, basically, we can grab this part here. Everything here except for the let here. I'm going to put it in there. And then we have to tap this and tap that. All right. And here we have to make also an if statement. So this if statement is very straightforward. The if statement will say the following. If this chart type value equals, let's say uh, here, the line or equals strict line which is just matching all these values here. If that is the case, then we want to do this, but we, we want to convert this into a line. But to do that, I also want to have another sort of configuration here because we have this configuration here. We need to put in a new config. So I'm going to copy. Uh, we have this one, make sure we have here the, this. All right, put that in there. So we move that in here. And the reason why we have this because we will have certain items will have different configurations. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to say here config and I'm going to call this config number two. Config number two will be a line. And for the line, we will just leave this one, but we have another config as well. That will be number three. And this will be a pi config. And pi config doesn't have options related to the scale because there's no scale existing. So we're going to delete this chunk here. And finally, we have a um, radar chart. I am not certain if they have a scale or they have a scale, but probably they don't have a Y scale. So we're going to put it in there. I'm going to just delete this. You say here radar, and this will be number four. Very straightforward. And here we have the line, and let's double check here line, and then we have here the bar. So we must make sure we have all of these together. So I'm going to put in here, this is a bar, and then this will be config default. And you can see here now, the reason why we need to have let here is because of this. We are, we are using this here, and here I'm removing the let, because if you would do here, another one, that would be possible, but if you would do constant, you're not allowed to reassign again the same value, and that's why you get an error then. Let allows you, gives you this flexibility. So that's some extra information. All right, number three, which would be the pie chart if I'm not mistaken. 
number four will be um, we can do here number four which is the Raider and then if you want another one which would be basically exactly the same I can just copy this here for donut if you want donut what I will do then is just because the pie chart and the donut chart have the same structure so what I will do here in the options here I'll just add up another one and then I'll just say here donut and here donut save this refresh let's change this and there you are so now we are having these and then it will change it here and then we have here another one let's click on that oh sorry what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the size of it let's make the width 400 and the reason why the width is different here because the chart this is the reason why if you destroy the chart it will get the original shape so now I want to reduce this this is a rectangular shape normally if you would just update only this specific item here the uh, chart type only chart type equals update you will get the grid lines and you will have the same shape but now we have a square here that's correct all right so now we go here donut um let's see oh all right i figure out why donut is not working here apparently we need to have it separate then we'll put it in here i'll make this number five okay here donut there we are convic five well they have the same one apparently one specific item is not the same save that refresh let's double check pie donut there we are line there we are and radar let's see what happened all right so everything works as expected it's beautiful so this is basically the way how you can use a drop down to control all these options here and to re-render again the chart so if this video if you enjoyed this video i highly recommend you to explore this one as well which is understanding data structures because data structures gives you more advanced flexibility and especially if you are not only updating the chart on type but maybe you have still more data you can squeeze them all together in a very clever way data structures is really powerful for that so highly recommendable to watch this one as well